I'm delighted to be here helping to launch the Ian Finlay Paths Fund. We know that we need to do so much more across every community in Scotland to improve active travel. And in many communities, it's the small local routes that have got gaps or that need to be improved. The Ian Finlay Paths Fund is going to help communities all across Scotland make that vision of a more connected uh, and healthier network for active travel a reality. Over the last few years, we have been increasing the amount of investment we put into active travel. Uh, it's gone up to a, a record £150 million this current financial year, uh, and we're going to be more than doubling that again in the next couple of years. For many communities, active travel, just walking about, is already uh, the most regular route that they, that they take for, for small journeys. But it's not just about how to get about to, uh, to the shops or to your work, it's also about enjoying uh, the, the active lifestyle that I think Ian Finlay himself would have been a, a huge champion for. And people remember the, the impact that his work made. Over the past 13 years of Castlemilk Park project, um, we've done loads to try and listen to local people's aspirations um, and what they want to improve in their area. So there's loads of examples. Um, some of them are um, our regular kind of sustainable woodland management. Another example is our signage project, heavily supported by Paths for All, where our youth advisory panel thought having signage directing people where they should go will encourage people to come in and see how attractive the woodland is. The involvement of the community and volunteers like, hugely shapes what we do. We do regular consultation, creative consultations, we have pop-up stalls, and um, it's their aspirations and their priorities that we um, that we focus on. So we're looking at potentially um, working with local partners to improve the lighting in that area. That's a huge um, community issue at the moment. The consultation from that as well could be more path maintenance to increase accessibility. It could be more activities, it could be more signage. At this point, we don't know, but what's exciting is that it seems like a fund that could support any of the above. This new Ian Finlay Path Fund is the first fund of its kind for a very long time and it's really exciting to be able to um, I enable communities to, to look at paths that are maybe a wee bit unloved um, and uh, that would actually help people move around their communities without getting into their car or give them links to public transport. So it gives a, a chance to look at um, these, these different path areas and do something with them and make them um, usable spaces uh, for lots of different people. I think there's lots of different barriers that um, people find in, in their areas and particularly on, on paths that um, have maybe not been looked after for a while. So it could be overhanging vegetation, um, it's lack of lighting, it's the different surfaces that have maybe worn away so that we have places where um, people are put off um, using because they find it difficult to walk on or if they're a wheelchair user it's just impossible. It's removing those kind of things that will allow more people to be able to access areas easily and, and hopefully enable them to think that um, on a day-to-day -day basis that if they want to get to the school or they want to get to the bus stop or they want to get to the surgery that they can actually use the path and walk um, on it rather than um, get into the car. As an organisation we're all about getting people out walking um, and the, the links to active and public transport um, so this fund will bring back these um, unloved paths into a much more usable state um, but it is just about getting more people out and about and, and walking on a day-to-day -day basis.